Hiya folks, I'm back on the mini moto or pocket bike, whatever you want to call it, restoration. It's all stripped down as you know as in part one. So let's get on and start refurbishing some of these parts in part two. I'll see you in a minute. Right, well I've been on eBay and I've been ordering some parts. I've got some new fairings coming, new bushes. Uh, what else have I got? The body kit is coming. I ordered a new front brake caliper. The one, the brake pads in that were very, very low. Bearing in mind all your braking's on the front. So for the sake of about seven pounds, I ordered a new caliper. I've got some new forks coming. Uh, I've also got the yokes as well. They come as one kit. You might as well have bought it in one. But uh, I'm gonna be using these brackets here. Obviously the original handlebar brackets and the fork bottoms are chrome like this or should I say alley, alley cover but I will possibly be taking this apart and um, maybe powder coating the bottom of these because the, the body kit I've ordered is blue funny enough it matches the uh, Mondeo ST220 that I've got so the frame I think I'll do black and the wheels and handlebars and the front lower forks I think I'm going to do them in gold powder coat, so that's the plan anyway. So gold and blue is going to be the predominant of the two colours which I'm using. And as I say, I'll do the frame black as well. So everything else is going to be cleaned up. I'll like probably do things like the side of the gearbox there. I may powder coat that yet, I'm not too sure. See how we go with that. Uh, the engine, as I mentioned here, is a runner. Uh, the carb, I've not ordered a new carb yet, but you can pick one of these up for about eight pounds. But I mean, I will take it off and have a look at it because I've got to take it off anyway. So I'll just check the internals of it. And if it's uh, all too corroded up, I'll probably just put a, put a new carb on it as well. So that's that. Swinging arm, again, will be powder coated, possibly black. I'm not sure if I want to uh, maybe do that gold as well. I'm not too sure. Yeah, we'll see how we go with that. We'll, we'll play it by ear at the moment. The exhaust, I'm playing with the original exhaust at the moment, which I can't find out where it is at the moment. It's landing. Oh, it's over there which is obviously very corroded. It's all in one piece still, the uh, end box there. It'll probably do with a sandblast and a, a repaint, to be honest with you. But uh, they do do a very similar exhaust, which comes up and tees out into two little pipes at the back coming back. So for the sake of 17, 18 pounds, I may put one of them on as well. But I'll give this a clean up first, see how it comes up. I can always change these sort of parts as and when. The handlebars I'm going to keep, as I say, they're going to be sandblasted and I'll also do these possibly in gold powder coat as well. So the controller, did I buy another controller for this? I can't remember if I bought one then, but I've also bought the additional kill switch that goes on there. This one didn't have it on, the wires were on there, but obviously it's been removed at some point. So there's a kill switch which goes on there. So that's fine. And as I say, the wheels are going to be stripped down. I've actually bought new inner tubes and new tyres as well. So for the sake of the money they cost, and also new wheel bearings, which will press straight in there as well. So I've got new bearings in uh, the front wheels and the back wheels. Oh, that's a point. I need four, don't I? Two for each wheel. I'll have to order another two. Okay, so I'll do that when I go back inside. I've only ordered two for one wheel. And uh, as I say, the two head race bearings there are going to be renewed as well. So I'm going to start stripping stuff down now and possibly do some powder coating in this video. You won't see everything stripped down. I'll do the engine as one component in its own video, but I'll start doing a few bits and pieces so you can see what I'm up to anyway. And I'll put you on a bit of time lapse for that, so I'll see you in a minute. two wheels down to their bare essentials. One thing I did notice was on the sprocket side of the rear wheel, 
someone had cut the screws down. They're all basically the same length of the screws, but someone had cut the other two down. There's two screws on that back sprocket side. Uh, what one is it? That one there. And it looks like they've had the sprocket off before, maybe broke the uh, screws in there. So there's looks like half a bolt still in there. So I would have to drill them out and retap them. But uh, I could buy new wheels. I'm not going to mess about buying new wheels. They're only about eight pounds each, but uh, I can't buy everything new. It's a waste, waste of time otherwise. So I'm going to repair them. I'll drill them out and then retap them and put the correct length bolts in. But uh, yeah, the wheels are okay. I'm hoping they'll sandblast okay. If not, I'll put some chemical paint stripper on them. Because normally if you've got powder coated, which I think this may be, powder coating is really hard to get off in, this, in the domestic sandblaster, what I've got. So I'm going to do that. There's the bearings. The bearings are a little bit graunchy. You can probably hear that. They're very dry, so I'm going to order another two, another set. I've only ordered one set at the moment, but um, I'll order another set of them. The sprockets look okay, to be honest with you. I'll give them a sandblast up. So the disc brakes... The discs themselves look okay, so they look nice and flat when you land up next to each other, so I'm happy with them, they'll just clean up. So that's the wheel stripped down, so there's no reason why I can't uh, powder coat them now. Also the swinging arm as well, get that prepared as well. And as I say, if this is uh, powder coated, I will have to probably put some paint stripper on there as well. So there's no bearings on this bolt going through there, it's literally just a bolt. And all the bolts which I'm taking off, I should be able to reuse again because I'll soak these in the um, MC51 rust converter and then I'll put them in my uh, tumbler. I've got a, a rock tumbler which cleans up all the bolts. So anyway, that's a few bits for me to be getting on with. I'll strip the handlebars down as well and uh, get them ready for powder coating. So that's my little job for the moment. So I'm going to do some uh, sandblasting now. So I'll see you in a minute. I've been doing a bit of stripping. It, uh, it's very difficult to get this off. As you can see, I've got most of this off now. This powder coat on the um, with the paint stripper and also the wire wheel, which I'm going to need to get a new blinking wheel there, as you can see. I've got various amounts of wheels, but uh, that seems to be doing the job. I've got it down to that sort of level now. I will have to finish it off in small places, but uh, the frame's the most tricky bit. Let me show you. And uh, I've managed to say, I've got it all down basically with the wire brush after I've coated it but one thing I did realize is that this shock absorber mount as you can see look it's actually split off of the tube there so I'm gonna have to put that back into place and also weld that back up again so that's just one repair that I've found that needs to be done so I've just had to retreat again these little bits here with some power strip paint stripper just for the difficult areas and then I'll finish these off with a uh, wire brush you can see it's bubbling up all right there so yeah, still loads to do. I've got a few new parts here, as you can see. I've got the new tyres that have come now with the new inner tubes. Uh, the controls for the handlebars, I've got a new kit there, which will go straight on. There's a brand new clutch. I'm hoping the bell housing is going to be okay, but uh, that's a new clutch to go on. This, I did opt for a new carburetor in the end. I thought, what the hell, it's only about seven or eight pounds. So I've got a brand new carburetor there. Also in the same blue, the air filter casing has got the same sort of blue, so that's a brand new carb I'm going to be bolting on there. Again, so cheap these bits. There's the brand new wheel bearings and also the wheel adjusters at the back. I thought for the sake of a couple of quid I might as well buy a, a set of new wheel adjusters rather than go to all the hassle of uh, refurbishing the old rusty ones. I did buy a new spark plug there. 
and I think this uh, I did buy a separate kill switch there as well so I'm not too sure does that come with a kill switch in there I'm not too sure I can see a wiring loom in there I'm not sure if it's got a kill oh it has got a kill switch on it so that comes on the actual handle so I've got a spare kill switch anyway which will come in handy for another project because I plan to do some more sort of small motorcycle conversions and stuff like that so that's that and I've also got the brand new forks there I'm not too sure how they come about apart yet so I've got the new forks there as well so as you can see I've been buying a few parts I'm going to wait until this frame is ready and get it prepared and then what I'll do is um, oh the wheels also I've done the wheels I've stripped the wheels now let me show you hold on get off of there this is one it's just literally been stripped with a paint stripper and then I have to go over it afterwards with a sandblaster as well just to make the uh, metal like nice and clean to accept the powder coating as well and one thing I have noticed as well is that these wheels are quite poorly cast let's show you if you can see this in between certain parts the castings sort of have, have got little casting marks so I might just clean them up along the edges with just with a small file just to make sure they're nice and tidy just to keep the casting nice and clean so that's another little thing which I've got to do bloody aeroplane I ain't got my lavalier mic on because I've sent my road mic off to be repaired as well so I'm using a, a, a road mic on top of the actual camera at the moment that's why the audio is picking up loads of stuff all around sort of thing so right so it's all about stripping parts down and cleaning them so as we know I'm going to be reusing these handlebars here but I don't need any of this mechanisms or none of this now so I might as well get rid of this what have we got here I won't throw none of this stuff away because uh it might be reusable, you know. I didn't realise there's such a big market for these uh, pocket bikes. And also people adapting them and stuff like that, you know, so. There you go. Yeah, see, the reason why I didn't like these small levers, that's why I've uh, I ordered the kit. Because they're very, very small. You can only really operate with one finger. But, you know, if you're using either a child, if a child's going to be riding a bike like this, you want them to be able to get their whole hand on them, sort of thing. Because, look, that's where they sort of come. There. So, that's the reason why I did change them in the end. I was These are perfectly serviceable, but um, I just wanted the full size ones. So, let's get that off. I'm hoping when I powder coat these that um, the coating doesn't interfere too much with the um, sliding the things on and off. I wouldn't have thought the throttle would have been a problem because there's quite a bit of slack in that. And to be honest with you, powder coating isn't too much thicker than uh, paint or chrome, I wouldn't have thought. But um, well, I'll be able to get that off in one go. I might have to cut that one off. Yeah, I'll have to cut that one. Let me go and get a knife and just run a knife down here. Again, these are only cheap, so it shouldn't be too hard to cut through. Not too much pressure, just light pressure many times. I'll try and do it in one go. And you'll find you'll get through it a whole lot easier. There we go, that should be through. Yeah, see how stiff these rubbers are. Old rubber gets very stiff and snaps. Look, it's broken. Look, so look at that. Look. So I'd, I'd never get that off to reuse that. Not unless I probably heat it up. But even so, it's not worth messing about with. All right, pull that off. Very stiff. Here we go. Yeah, and that's probably what the chrome would have looked like when it was new. Lovely and shiny, but uh, as you know, we're powder coating it. Pull that off. Again, I will keep them because uh, they could be handy for another little project. So again, as I said to you, serviceable part. Saves buying new ones. These can definitely work, and they should sandblast off a tree. So that's another one for refurbishment.
Right, okay, let's get this bit out. I'm gonna turn the oven off now. I'll put that wheel in there just to um, get all the uh, imperfections out. I don't think you can see it's actually burning off at the moment, so that's what I wanted to do. But this bit's finished. There you go. How does that look? Super. Right, there you go, folks. That's the uh, finished frame and swinging arm. Don't forget the wheels are gonna be gold as well. And you've got that lovely blue bodywork which is gonna go on there. Let's show you a little bit nearer. And uh, yeah, here we go. That's the swinging arm in the uh, gold powder coat. I've not put it in place yet. I've only just put it there roughly. And there's our black gloss frame, which I'm very pleased with the result. That was silver before, as you remember. And as you know, it's been powder coated, so uh, hopefully it should last pretty well. There we go. I'm well pleased with that. Happy days. Right, well, I'm going to be doing obviously some more of this. I can't do the wheels yet. I've got to get the um, wheels, both of them, rubbed down properly yet. I'm, I'm in the process of doing that. And there's obviously other stuff which I'm going to powder coat. You don't really need to see that. Stuff like the handlebars and that sort of thing. It's just a sandblasting and a, very much the same. That's going to be gold as well. So that'll be up there in the gold as well. And uh, clean the rest of the parts up. Well, that's it for part two. 
this is going to be probably a three part uh, video series where the first part was dismantling second part is showing you how I'm refurbing it and the third part hopefully is put it all back together with nice shiny new parts anyway thanks very much if you do enjoy these videos please hit the subscribe button and ring that little notification bell set your preferences to all that way you get notified every time I upload a video thanks very much I'll see you in the next video and until then bye for now